Hello. Today I'm going to show you exactly how to use a dividend reinvestment calculator for two purposes. One, to develop a plan uh, to eventually live off of dividend income. And two, show the benefits of compound interest over time. So the dividend reinvestment calculator is actually pretty easy to use. Um, you know, you can find it at millionairemob.com slash dividend calculator. Um, and there's really only four inputs that you need to use or sensitize to, to be able to come out with a desired output. Uh, I included a chart uh, that will help you uh, sensitize your inputs and develop and formulate your plan. The first step is to input your monthly contribution that you'll make to your portfolio. Let's start with $100. Step two is input the annual increase in contributions. So this is just a percentage increase that you'll con uh, contribute to your pro portfolio over time. So you know the, the assumption is that your income is going to increase over time and you're going to be able to uh, contribute uh, more to your portfolio. Um, so I put in 10% for now. The third step is then the assumed annual dividend yield. So this is an assumed annual dividend yield for each year. Um, it's not dynamic where you can input a dividend yield um, specific to each year. So uh, basically, it, it assumes that you will have a, a portfolio yield of, call it 3% uh, each year. You know, it, you could actually exceed that because uh, you might be investing in dividend stocks that will increase their dividends over time. Uh, and then, therefore, your yield on cost is much higher than uh, when you initially invested in the stock. Uh, so I'll put in 3%. I think that's a realistic target. Um, I like investing in dividend stocks that you know, actually pay a low payout ratio and basically a lower dividend yield. Um and then also have uh, increasing earnings per share more than their dividends have been increasing, uh, in, at least in the, the last few years, and then uh, projected as well. Uh, the reason why I do that is because I want stocks that uh, you know have a high likelihood of maintaining their dividend and then also increasing it over time. And then the fourth and final step is the annual capital appreciation. So this is the increase in the underlying stock price over time. Uh, this also plays into the point of increasing earnings per share. Presumably, you'd want a stock that uh, you know is increasing their earnings more than they are increasing their dividends. If they are, the stock price is likely going to increase. Uh, you know, as they pay dividends, that actually comes out of equity value. So dividend yield plus uh, the increase in the stock price is, is your total return. Uh, so here, anywhere in 4 to 6% range is realistic. I'll put in 5. As you can see here, uh, you'll have an ending portfolio value of about $209,000 after 20 years. Um, relatively modest. I think, I think it's important to sensitize this. So you go back to the first step uh, and you double your contributions, you actually double your ND portfolio value as well. Um, a 10% annual increase in contributions is somewhat light. Uh, I think you know if you're budgeting well, uh, repaying debt, um, and increasing your income over time, I think a 25% increase over time is realistic. Um, from here, let's assume uh, let's maintain these, but if you did increase this at 25%, you have a $2.8 million portfolio and $82,000 in annual dividend income come year 20. You know, one might argue that uh, in you know 13 years from now, uh, it, you know it it might be hard to do uh, $54,000 in annual contributions. You can change this to just be. Um, say you're capped out at 40,000. That may seem like a lot for some people, but um, you know, perhaps you're an executive at a company. Uh, perhaps you get annual sales commissions that are $40,000, and you live off of your your base salary. Um, 
you know, it is totally realistic to eventually hit that number. Um, uh, it, but it's all up to you to be able to do that. Even if you did cap out at 40,000, you still have a $1.4 million portfolio at the end, end of year 20, and you're making $41,000 um, in annual dividend income. Uh, so that shows you just uh, how much, I mean, how how to to use the calculator. I'll re I will uh, remove those last two steps. Uh, and so, basically, if you contribute, um, you know, to sensitize this even further, I think we could go to year zero and just say, well, what if you you contributed so sort of two hundred dollars with an annual increase of twenty five percent. But at year zero, you were for some reason able to contribute. You had ten thousand dollars of dry powder. Look at the massive benefits. Obviously, we're not going to be able to um, contribute this much. But if you maintain, after year five, right around thirty thousand dollars, you maintain that. you still had a $1.5 million portfolio. Um, I think this just really shows your consistency with contributing to a, a portfolio over time and maintaining with the exact plan. Um, you know, I just outlined the exact steps that you need to take to be able to hit a, you know, multi-million dollar portfolio and nearly $100,000 of div annual dividend income. Uh, from here, let's Let's look at uh, the chart output here. This really shows the power of compound interest from year zero. You have, um, it takes you about 15 years to hit $900,000 of total portfolio value. But you're from years 16 to 20, um, you're, you're basically tripling your portfolio value and taking uh, $900,000 to 2.8 million. Um, that obviously shows uh, the first million is always the hardest. Uh, from there, though, uh, you're able to uh, uh, recognize the benefits of, of, of compound interest and the, the power of time. So that's it. Um, I highly suggest that you download this dividend reinvestment calculator and sensitize the assumptions. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'm happy to address them.